Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to It's All About the Mouse. This is our first video for 2022 and our goal today was to use a cut file. So I created this cut file. Um, I had seen something similar to it uh, somewhere out on the internet. So I went over to create a Fabrica and I pulled a cut file for the tree and for the bird and I added them to the text that I have there and uh, created my own cut file. So I will link those down below for you if you are interested in getting the tree or the bird. And so I have these two photos of myself at Disneyland with um, Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. And so I decided to go ahead and use those. And I really liked the photos with this plaid paper. Um, this paper is from Studio Tech Trek and it's, uh, it's an older paper. Um, I did get it from paper issues when they had a large sale so I uh, decided to go ahead and use it because I really like it the peachy pink tones really um, work well with the jacket that I'm wearing and those blue tones work great with uh, my jeans and your and so I was pretty happy with that um, it doesn't match great with with Winnie the Pooh but that's okay um, it still matches what I'm wearing matches my mouse ears and everything, so I decided to go ahead and go for it. Um, I just matted everything onto black paper, and uh, you probably noticed that I used the black paper for the entire border around the entire layout. Um, it was the leftover piece from the piece that the cut file was taken from. I decided to bring in a little bit of fiber here. I've got this kind of grayish blue uh, ribbon it came out of that Disney pack that is uh, to the left hand side of the um, layout and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there it's very subtle it's one of those very sheer ribbons so it doesn't add a lot to the layout it just adds a bit of texture um, without pulling in any additional colors and I like the way that that looks it just takes me a few minutes to actually get it like tied so it's tight enough around the photo it it <laughs> I had a hard time getting it so that it was like not too loose and then I pulled in these stickers I believe these are Jolie's um, I pulled in the piglet sticker and a Tigger sticker and the reason I pulled in the Tigger is it brings in more of the Winnie the Pooh color and it kind of just brings it across the page there and so that made me kind of happy to have something else that was in those orange or orangey tones and then the win uh, the piglet just has the pink it does have a green um, scarf on but that's okay uh, it's just adding a little bit of a different color and I thought it was really cute having him holding on to the tree kind of like it was the blustery day and then I have these uh, stamps that are from Ellie's studio and they are the star label stamps and I really like them uh, I got those for Christmas and so I thought I'd bring those in and then I'm just kind of flipping through my Catherine Pooler swatches. Um, I got a bunch of new Catherine Pooler inks for Christmas as well so I'm just kind of um, looking at those trying to decide what I wanted to use and I go with this color that is kind of it's kind of a purplish blue um, and it's really pulling on the darkest stripe in that plaid paper in the background. So and it does match really well and I like it and so that's what I decide to go ahead and use. So the, the color of the one that I end up using is called Drive-In. Um, I did also stamp it in dress blues but it was a little bit too blue it didn't pull in the purple as much as I wanted um, and it's not super purple it's kind of like a I, I don't know I want to say electric blue but it's not really blue either it's kind of like it's almost like a really dark periwinkle <laughs> um, I don't know um, it's it's a blue that leans to the purple and then I pulled in that uh, peachy color as well and I'm trying to remember what color that is. Hmm. I wonder if I hold it up. <laughs> so anyway, I stack those two labels up on top of each other and 
Um, that's going to be my little journaling spot. And then I'm pulling in some of the peachy stars out of this set of acrylic pieces that I have here. And those have been in, uh, in my stash for a while. So I've had those um, little tiny bits and pieces that work really well. And I like that. And then I'm just using some glue dots to adhere those down. So I want to make sure that they're going to stay. And I find that on the acrylic pieces, the glue dots work the best or zots or any of the um, mini dots that are kind of like that. The liquid adhesive, which I absolutely love, doesn't work the best just because they are not uh, porous at all. So I'm really... Uh, liking the way that it's coming together and I bring in another one of those stars to dot the eye in uh, the title friends from the hundred acre wood and then I remembered I also got the Ellie studio um, Disney stamps and so I decided to pull out a couple of those and I use a couple of the word phrases but I don't have a label stamp that fits around it and I didn't just want to ink it so what I end up doing is I ink up my label stamp so that it's three quarters of the way inked. Um, it doesn't have, I don't ink up the one of the ends of it so that it remains open on one end. And then I take it and I flip it over and I ink up uh, the other side of it so that I can kind of bridge the gap. And you're gonna see that here in a second. Um, it does work out really well and I like the way that it looks. Um, it wasn't a perfect fit for these phrases, but it does come together nicely by doing it that way. So here I am trying to figure out which one of these labels are, is going to work the best. And you can see here, so I'm going to do the uh, left hand side and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the right hand side and it, it, it takes a little bit of, you know, making sure that you've got it lined up properly. Um, and I'm not going for being exact right here. I'm just going for getting an outline around the label. I figured I can always trim it down if I need to. Um, but I, I do a pretty good job of it. So it worked out really well. And so that's a, one way to make you, your, uh, your stamps stretch just a bit. So now I did end up doing the alphas or the letters in black and then I'm using the same colors for uh, the labels as I did for the other two labels that are already on there. So bringing those two colors in again. And I do really like the way that these labels look at the bottom of the Eeyore photo, but the, they don't end up staying there. Um, so I'm going to move those around a bit. I also, these, these labels also have like a little cutout in the corners, so I just use the hole punch there to create that little um, cutout, and it works really well. So this is a hop, and there are a few other people playing along with me today, so you can find their links in the description box down below. Go check them out. We do this the first Monday of the month. Um, we have different themes during the year, um, or for each month, and you can... Uh, have a lot of inspiration that is Disney related or that is Disney inspired. So um, the photos don't necessarily have to be Disney photos, but there is always a bit of Disney inspiration involved in this hop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again very soon with another video. Um, if you don't mind hitting the like button, I would really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.